Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Sagittarius? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ah, Sagittarius, what the hell's going on, Sag? What's up? 33 on the clock. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Sagittarius collective. Now, what the fuck was that, Sagittarius? What the fuck was that? This one landed in my hand. <sighs> be generous, make it fucking rain, I guess, you go to the strip club, uh, you got the opportunity, I guess, make that shit rain, huh? <sighs> well, we only had two fall off on the, so let's just take them all, Sads, let's just see what the fuck's going on here, call on your healer guides, if y'all ain't feeling right, body don't feel right, something don't feel right, get your ass to the doctor, do what you gotta do, do a body check, do a health check, mental health check, physical health check, financial health check, whatever you need to do. Take your time, so ease, ease into it, right? Ease on down, ease on down the road. So you're still moving forward, but everyone's got a different pace. Clear the past. That's going to be part of that, take your time. Ask your healer guides, you know, it, it takes however long it takes. Some things, you know, you can't rush. You just can't rush it. Call on your runners. This is call on the people that are there to help you. Call on the, a lot of you, call on your spiritual guys. Call on those that can uh, help facilitate uh, the work you need done or anything you need done. You know what I mean? Your helpers. Go back to the basics. Just let, uh, I, I'm getting like basic training. Just, you know, kind of... Uh, Maybe a, a spiritual boot camp type uh, situation. Uh, back to the basics. You know, it's going to be rough, but uh, kind of like brushing up on the fundamentals as well. You know what I mean? Just take it back to the basics. If you've been doing something and maybe you've, you, you've expanded on it and you've fucked, a, you've fucked around with this so much that you've kind of lost track of the basics, sometimes just go back to the fucking basics, right? Go back to the beginning. Lord's going to have to be flexible, too. This flexibility, I think it's going to be important when it, this kind of call on your runner's energy. Uh, you know, if there's some things you can, uh, I was going to say subcontract out. If there's some things you can get other people to do for you, just do it. Uh, call, get the help that you need, right? Uh, if some of y'all, if it means, um, I don't know, maybe you're going to hire uh, someone to come in and help you keep your house clean or help, help facilitate something. Maybe you're going to get some sort of, uh, like child care, uh, do what you got to do. So with these back to basics is number four, call on your runners, 42, 442 could mean something. Sweet Jesus. We got fours. Be flexible is 40. So we got four, zero, four, two, four, clear the past is 36. Take your time, 43. Uh, call on your healer guides, 14. You got a lot of freaking fours showing up here, uh, Sagittarius. So this definitely, you know, a spiritual awakening, some sort of spiritual. A lot of you just, just go back. It, it takes whatever time it takes. Exercise your vibes and let go. 38 and 27 here. Again, with this sort of getting getting things back. Some of y'all going back to the basics, going back, going back, letting go, going through that door. A lot of you, you've uh, you've actually ascended. You're into another level. You're you're onto another sort of uh, part of your journey. So sometimes going back to the basics is <laughs> you're going to go back to the basics because you're on a new level. So. <clears throat> It's kind of like that energy as you uh, as you upgrade, as you move on to, you know, newer opportunities, newer uh, environments. Sometimes you need to take it back to the basics with what you know you can't control. This is just, you know, the basics. Even as you upgrade, 
right? You're elevating, you're moving forward, you're getting good options, you're getting different options. If you always go back to kind of like your core, the basic uh, knowledge that you have, the basic uh, abilities, gifts, talents, whatever it is, uh, as you're beginning this new sort of uh, step up, that's going to put you in that comfort zone, so you're going to be able to do what you need to do. So this is like an elevation of energy. This is a, a, just a change up, but you might have to revert back to the basics for a little bit just to get your footing and help you get your balance. Now, call on your runners. This is uh, get the help that you need. If there are certain areas that you can get help facilitating what you need done, then do it. You know what I mean? If it means calling in someone to help keep your house clean for you or calling in a babysitter or calling in and having someone help you do something, do it. I like that. I like that. Uh, be generous. You know, at the end of the day, generous with your time, with your love, with your attention. Do what you got to do. It's a very interesting energy there, uh, Sagittarius. But it is that sort of as you upgrade, just go back to the basics that you know until you get your footing, right? It, everything might be new. It might be different. It could be a whole nother area. But you always got that core, that basics, because it's kind of like boot camp, basic training type energy where you learn the basic core uh, skills that you need, right? And it usually kicks your ass. But that kind of just uh, beefs up your, your basic knowledge, your basic skills. Especially if you've kind of gotten off from the basics. Remember what got you where uh, you were able to move up. You know what I mean? Being able to go back to that basics. Because, you know, usually as you move up, uh, really the less work you get. Uh, you know, as you advance, as you start uh, moving up the ladder, you're able to micromanage. You're able to get other people to do what you need to get done. So you kind of lose that that um, that edge. So that feels like that's the message. Don't lose your edge. Don't don't lose your edge. Don't lose your uh like your your advantage. What got you where you are? The basic knowledge, the basic skill set. You know what I mean? Damn, Sagittarius, I love that energy for you guys. It's like stay humble. Remember what the basics are. Remember what you are. What the root of you is all about what the root of your experience has always been about damn Sagittarius I love that that's something you know that you can use all through uh your years some of you with the back to basic training right anyone that does boot camp here in the states they tell you it's it's fucking hell right what eight weeks I think eight to ten weeks of hell but it basic teaches you the basics and they tear you down to build you up is basically the process you get everything that you need uh, to prepare you for what you need to do. Some of y'all, you need to go back. And maybe for some of you, it's going to be like that spiritual boot camp. Maybe for some of you, you need to start exercising and moving and kind of get things back into shape. Don't forget your roots. Seven of Wands. Protective energy, but every time you kind of elevate, you're going to have this. But this, again, is also that sort of boot camp where they treat you, teach you how to defend yourself. They teach you the basic lessons of survival. Seven of Cups at the bottom to emotionally break you down in order to build you up. It's uh, it's a good energy. Um, it is a good energy. It's going to kick your ass, but it makes you stronger at the end of the day. It's going back to the basics. It's relearning what you already knew. So that way you're not going to, to kind of, I was going to say fall prey or fall victim to you know, your environment. I like this. 77, of course, that's, that's a lucky uh, combination here. But you, you have to, this is that knowing you can protect yourself and keep your shit, your emotions under control. That's sort of boot camp energy. It kicks your ass, but it makes you stronger. It teaches you what you need to know in a very concentrated amount of time. Six of Pentacles, which brings in the reward, right? Sometimes that sort of lack thereof uh, pays off at the end. Uh, so you can find yourself re uh, removing uh, from certain energies, certain people, places, and things in order to do the work that you need to do. I feel like it's just a brush up. As you elevate, as you move to another level, always remember the basics. Always remember what got you there. No matter how many times you move up, no matter how many times you progress, always remember the basics, right? If you started in the mail room 
and you move up to CEO of the company, always remember your time in the mail room. Remember every step of the journey, what kind of built you onto the next level, because that's going to be what's important. That's always going to be like your, the root of who you are, the, the basics of what you're about. Because it looks like there's an opportunity, but it feels like this is going to be blessed with something. Oh, it is. This is like that. This is like a, an awakening, but yeah. There's something coming in, an offer, an opportunity, but damn, here's that sort of boot camp energy. It's going to kick your ass. You're going to have to go back to the basics. You're going to have to go back to the basics. Some of you, when it comes to love, toxic connections, things that emotionally, I don't even want to throw love in there. Emotionally, toxic uh, habits, traits, people, whatever it is, you're going to have to readdress that issue, okay? At least uh, tighten up a little bit. For some of you, basic survival. A basic survival, right? Being able to handle situations. This is a conflict resolution. All that beautiful energy. Going back to the basics. Sometimes you sometimes you need to be retested to make sure that you don't lose your fucking edge, okay? You, you deny in order to get the gains. Uh, that is probably what's going on here. Something's coming in to sort of facilitate that. To uh, it, it's like bringing in a balance that seven of pentacles as you as, as you it's like what you know. Uh, if you lose touch of who you are, your basics of who you are, what you're about, you're gonna get rewarded. Because here we got six uh, six of pentacles there plus the page of pentacles, seven of pentacles, seven of wands, seven of cups. The star card has seven stars on it. It's fortunate opportunity, it's a fortunate um. Uh, Upgrade, but you're going to have to be tested. Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. In order to get the good, you got to make sure you can handle the bad. Right? Mama's in control because Mama can handle herself in situations. Mama knows how to uh, take care of what she needs to take care of. And yes, mama can be a bitch when she needs to, but she can be a bitch when she needs... It's like, uh, you know, that... Uh, it, it's it's tough love energy. It's tough love energy. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, critique, but it comes from a healing place. It's, uh, it's love, but sometimes it's tough love energy. Calling in partnerships. Bringing in balance. Making love out of nothing at all. <laughs> it leads to good, but sometimes you have to remember your past in order to move forward into something good. Right? No matter where you are in life, no matter what you do, if you don't remember what the hell you came from, the lessons that you learned along the way... There are going to be moments in time that remind you of your journey, that remind you of where you came from. That's why you got to keep your ass humble, right? You always got to keep yourself humble, no matter how high up you get. Always remember where you came from. If you got a fridge full of food, remember when you didn't even have a house to have a fridge. If you got... Financial stability now. Remember when you couldn't find two fucking dimes to rub together. As you advance, and a lot of you have advanced, but you got to go back to that sort of basic training, that sort of wake-up call. That way you understand uh, what you've achieved and how to move forward and do what you need to do because you're always going to remember where the fuck you came from. You're always going to treat people in that energy because you always remember. Damn Sagittarius. But it's going to get rough to remind you just how fucking tough you are. It is like a spiritual boot camp. Basically, they tear you down to build you up. To, to make you uh, able to handle the situations that you're being put through. And to give you the training that you need. And it is about breaking you down to build you back up. Stress testers. 
Stress testers, a lot of you, to remember where the fuck you came from. Even as you advance, those that are blessed, bless others, right? Because you always remember where the fuck you came from. You never get too high on the hog. You never get, uh, you know, too big for your britches. And I don't think this is even about doing that. This is just a, the reminder to keep you in that mindset and to keep your... Uh, your energy's focused and to keep you able to keep doing what you're doing. If you want to keep evolving, you always got to remember, uh, well, you know, you study history so you don't repeat it. You got to remember some parts of your past in order to appreciate it as you move forward. Beautiful energy here, Sagittarius. So if you if it gets a little rough, you're feeling a little tested, okay, You've been through worse, you've been through harder, you can get through this as well. A lot of you, this is just that sort of, uh, <laughs> you, need to, you need to toughen up as you begin this new level, right? You're going to get it right there at the beginning, so you're going to be able to move forward. So, you know, every time you elevate, uh, things change, the playing field change, uh, opportunities change, the people you uh, deal with are going to be a little different. You're going to be able to uh, sort of, subcontract out some work. You're going to be able to afford to bring people on. Some of you all with this two of cups, maybe you're going to uh, hire an assistant or bring someone on to help you do something. But you're going to, it's, it's like a brush up, just a brush up of uh, skills, a brush up of your uh, energy. Sevens. Lucky opportunities. Seven, seven, seven. Hitting the jackpot in a situation, but it's like uh, remembering where you came from so you don't fuck it up and piss it away. Yeah, you just can't toss away where the hell you came from, right? Uh, it's always going to be a part of you because for a lot of you, that's what moved you and pushed you forward, your past. This ain't harping on it. This ain't feeling sorry about it. This ain't anything other than just remembering. Just remembering. Where the fuck you came from, what the fuck you went through, how the hell you survived it and was able to move forward. Yeah, opportunities coming in. Some of you with communications. But they're being hid. But this is that sort of testing of energies. You got the stability. You're, you're stable. But this is that keeping that e emotional... Uh, edge, where you don't get a little lazy. I think a lot of this, with this King of Pentacles here, this uh, uh, Nine of Swords and that Empress card, that's so you don't forget where the fuck you came from. Your humble beginnings. Your hard work and perseverance paid off. You waited for this. Here's that Seven of Pentacles. You waited for this. You've saved for this. You've worked for this. Now you get that victory. But you always got to remember what the hell drove you to, to succeed and do what you wanted to do, Sagittarius. It just feels like a brush up of energy. You got this. Go through the flow. Do what you need to do. If you need to bring on people to help you get through it, some of y'all can afford to do that now. Some of y'all are going to be able to do that. Maybe hire an assistant. Maybe it's a cleaner. Maybe it's a babysitter. It's going to be different for everybody. Um, do what you need to do. It's sort of a spiritual type boot camp, so what? Eight to ten weeks, and it'll pass. Um, remember, you've navigated this energy before. You've been here, done that. This is a brushing up of your skills to keep you from getting lazy and complacent and to prepare you for the new journey forward. Remember, no matter how high up you elevate, no matter how far you go, no matter how far you advance, always remember the fight, the drive, the moxie that had you going to get you to where the fuck you are. Because if you lose that, then you're going to end up kind of just, you know, falling into a, a, a pattern, a routine of just complacency. It's like, what, what's your drive? Always remember what your drive was when you didn't have shit. And that's what's going to help you out. Damn, Sagittarius. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling -a -ling. we're ending it on.
of like the 1950s on up. So this is going to affect a lot of y'all. Remember the older you get. Sometimes remember where the fuck you came from. So you appreciate what the hell you have. Especially if you start feeling a little sorry for yourself. Be generous. Time. Love. Whatever it is. Spiritual boot camp. So you know depending upon where you're at. Could be 8 to 10 weeks you've got going on. Uh, brush up your skills. So stay with it. 2022. <laughs> Peace, love, and light, Sag.